I bet you they gon' have this song on repeat Know you did me wrong every time that you see me On repeat And it's Portis in at the four-man spot And for the Celtics At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum Daniel Tice is out there with Al Horford And it's Smart in at the one and Grant, these teams boast quality depth. As a starter, what's it like having a great bench behind you? Well, you know, it takes a lot of the pressure off your starters. And it can also apply good pressure on your rotation guys. So, competition. Tice against Holiday. To the inside. On to the Kumpo. Horford with some nice deed. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. I love when Jason Tatum is aggressive to score the basketball. He does a tremendous job keeping his focus. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Celtics. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range to this point. Always nice to start out like that. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. And it's a completely new group for the Bucks. Boy, we have seen Jason Tatum. I mean, the Boston Celtics last year had the team's worst win percentage in the last six seasons. The front office admitted, as constituted, they were not a championship caliber team. Now, for this proud franchise, accustomed to competing deep into the playoffs, the question becomes, how do they get back on top? Yeah, that's a big one. Good stuff there, Ali. Thanks. From nine feet, and on to Kumpo, the bucket on the assist from Holiday. On to Kumpo has got 17. And a huge sigh of relief for Bucks fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. Tice passes to Tatum. And he sinks that one. Back to the back of the rim on the way in. Tatum's got eight points here in the quarter. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. You know, Grant, many wondered if Giannis would test free agency. Ultimately, avoided all that drama. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to stay and build a winner with the Bucks, And you know what? He did just that, bringing home the NBA championship. What a reward for the fans in the city of Milwaukee and just tremendous character from Giannis. Ibaka, he's checked in for the Bucks. Connaughton comes in for Anadokounmpo. A long, wiry combo guard. Holiday can make some acrobatic finishes. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Here's Neesmith. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Well, Matthews takes tremendous pride in his defense. Always wants to shut his man down. Lays it up and banks it in. And now just a three-point Boston lead. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. White, the pass to Brown. There's Tatum with the three. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Tatum's got 27. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. <clears throat> Holiday against White. <clears throat> Down low. Here's Ibaka. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Ibaka's got five points. They have no answer defensively inside. And Brown with the stuff. Well, how about the leaping ability of Jalen Brown? Soars high for the rim-rocking slam. Go to work, young man. Here's Holiday. Denied by Tatum. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Holiday against White. Pass to Tatum. Baseline try. The shot comes out. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. 
A minute 42 left in the third quarter here. And that one drops. He has six. You're simply going to have to do more than that on the defensive end. Lopez too big for the defense there. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, but just a tremendous motor. And he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Anadokounmpo inside. Pounded by Tatum. Up top, Portis. Rebounded by the Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second team foul. Here's Smart. Well, if they score here, they could effectively end this one. Yeah, and their main objective is right now taking care of the rock and using some time. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Ananakumpo inside. Tatum's there. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And I mean, how do you guard Giannis? When he's looking to score, sometimes you just have to foul him. Giannis out of the combo, taking two shots. Good on the first. And that narrows the lead down to just three. An MVP caliber talent, the rise of Giannis from scrawny teenager to bulked up superstar has been great to watch. Cannot convert on the second. That misses. And by missing that free throw, now a three could even the score. Not ideal. Big time shot. Sending his teammates into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. Apollani for two shots. So the first one drops, and that'll put him up two. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Timeout called, the Bucks. They're down by two. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? More than enough time to get a bucket. Well, they've got to be aggressive, guys, because the defense doesn't want to foul here. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. Twelve seconds left to play in the fourth. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. He gets the first. And that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. 
Here's Matthews. Cash! And that one out. brings him within one! The heat is on, and Matthews comes alive. His shot-making ability in these situations is downright crazy. And the Celtics call time here. They're leading by one. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter here. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Personal foul. Fifteen foul. Oh, the first of two, no good. The heartbreaker. Well, I just love how Marcus Smart plays the game of basketball. He's aggressive, he's intelligent, and he doesn't mind getting under your skin. And he ends up making the second. And that'll put him up two. That's how you beat the clock. Unbelievable shot. I have no idea how he gets that to fall. So it's a narrow victory for the Bucks, pulling it out for the W. And this was an emotional win for them, no doubt about it. <laughs> just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Giannis, a terrific comeback win. Talk about the composure this team showed. We stay together, we play together, we win together, we lose together. Even though we faced adversity, we came out, we were focused, we were able to move the ball, execute, and uh, we just stayed together. A great team win. Congratulations. Thanks, Giannis. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again.